New at six, pediatric specialists have good news and bad news when it comes to children and the coronavirus. It seems the very thing that is keeping kids safer from the worst symptoms is also putting the rest of the population at risk. Ursula Perry dives into the issue with an infectious disease specialist from UT Health's pediatric department who is spending a lot of time himself with his kids at home. Consider this, Dr. J.B. Canty is spending much of his time like this on Skype at home, doing as much of his job as he can away from UT Health. We're trying to do that as much as possible using uh, distance technologies like Skype and FaceTime and Zoom. <laughs> His research into pediatric reactions to coronavirus is still ongoing. He says there's a lot to learn about how it's transmitted to babies. But one thing we do know, most children already have come in contact with a coronavirus or two, and they are less likely to have the worst symptoms. We're hoping, and it, and it, would, it would fit what we're seeing, that that uh, cross immunity, the ability to recognize novel coronavirus because other coronaviruses in the past may be helping to protect younger children in a way that uh, adults like you and I are, are more at risk. An important point here, while they're lucky to have the immune systems they do, it's also putting parents and grandparents at risk. They tend to shed a lot of virus in their secretions. They tend to shed virus in their stool when they're infected. And it's they may be asymptomatic or just mildly symptomatic, but if they've got a, a elderly grandparent or uh, great aunts and uncles taking care of them, it's very easy for them to get their family members sick. There are cases where babies contracted the novel coronavirus from their mothers, but the numbers that have come out of China are a bit unclear at this point and more research needs to be done. If you are pregnant out of an abundance of caution, it's probably a good idea to stay away from crowds and keep yourself separated from the community. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.